Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the HTC Evo 4G LTE touchscreen glass digitizer and LCD display repair and replacement guide. The first thing you want to do is pop off this little back cover. There's a little finger tab you can use to pop that off. Once that is off, you're going to go ahead and want to remove the following screws as shown right here. There are a total of five screws. One is covered by a black void sticker. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and remove your little micro SD uh, card as that will need to be removed as soon as this little plastic bezel has been off. Next, using a safe open pry tool, you are going to go ahead and want to release the clips holding this little plastic frame bezel in place. You want to be able to find a little spot, as shown right here. Wedge the little safe pry tool safely between there, and go ahead and remove that plastic clip. With that clip removed, you're going to go ahead and want to remove the volume rocker. As shown right here, it should come right off. Next, using a safe open pry tool or your finger, you're going to want to go ahead and remove the bottom plastic bezel. Please note this is securely held in with adhesive, so it might take a little bit of prying to remove. Uh, I wouldn't recommend being too rough with it because if you are, that plastic frame can break. Um, so just be careful with that when you remove it. Next, using your Torx 5 screwdriver, you're going to go ahead and want to remove the following six screws as shown right here. With those screws removed, you can go ahead and remove this bezel holding uh, the back frame of your phone in. Uh, please note the top is a little bit wedged in, so you will have to kind of just wedge that out carefully. Next, you can go ahead and remove the two Phillips screws on the top of your motherboard. Now you will notice these little yellow heat conductive tape um, covering maybe a few battery terminals or jawbone flex cable connectors. You can remove this heat conductive tape. Um, if you do in fact lose it, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, it kind of just protects the cables from heat, but it isn't something that's extremely necessary. Um, but if you do see that covering any of the flex cables in this uh, video, it's just a little piece of plastic tape and you will want to go ahead and remove that. Now I want you guys to really watch this carefully. Um, there's a lot of jawbone flex cable connectors that you're going to have to disconnect. You want to pay attention to which way you're flipping these cables. Um, a lot of times people flip them the wrong way and they break the cable uh, connection. So just pay close attention to which way I'm flipping these cable connectors and you can go ahead and pull out the flex cables uh, once it's disconnected. With the uh, three cables I just uh, removed, you can now go ahead and safely uh, pry your motherboard slightly back. Don't go ahead and remove it because there is still a uh, another flex cable that's plugged in. Uh, this is not a jawbone one, but this is more so plugged in. You'll see it right here. And I go ahead and just pop this right off. With that disconnected, go ahead and slowly uh, pry off your battery and your motherboard. Don't lift them off completely as you'll see a little black antenna is still held in and the bottom portion of your motherboard is still connected to the actual frame of the phone. You're going to see one Phillips screw I'm removing right here. Go ahead and remove that screw. Um, 
that's your loudspeaker, go ahead and put that to the side. You're going to obviously put it back later. Next, go ahead and flip uh, the bottom portion of your motherboard as shown right here over. There is another little flex cable that is uh, plugged in. You're going to go ahead and want to flip this jawbone connector as well and slide that flex cable right on out. Um, and that pretty much separates your entire motherboard uh, with the battery from the frame and housing of your phone. So you're going to go ahead and put that to the side. Make sure not to put it on any magnetic device. Uh, you don't want any electrostatic device um, shock or anything like that. Next you're going to see a little heat conductive tape. This time it's a silver tape. Go ahead and peel this right off of the back frame housing of your phone. Phone. Be very careful doing this. Uh, you don't want to rip any of the flex cables under this heat conductive tape. With that removed, go ahead and uh, remove one more Phillips screw on the bottom of this flex cable, as shown right here. Now looking on the under underside of this cable, you'll see a little piece of black tape. Go ahead and remove this piece of tape. Um, there's also one of those yellow Kapton heat conductive tapes I told you about. Sometimes that'll hold these two flex cables together. Go ahead and remove that as well. Um, but this little black tape I'm removing right here, as you can see. And you want to be very careful, once again, with this because there is a jawbone connector under it. So you don't want to damage that. Uh, but this tape actually covers up your... Uh, LCD flex cable, which is like I said, held in by a jawbone connector as shown right here. So you're going to want to go ahead and uh, disconnect that LCD flex cable, pop up that jawbone connector, and if needed, like I said, remove that yellow capped on tape because it's kind of holding those two flex cables together. Um, so obviously, removing that tape will make this a little bit easier for you right here. Next, using a heat gun or a blow dryer, you're going to want to go ahead and heat up the front of your screen. This might take two to three minutes, but once adequate heat has been evenly applied, go ahead and use your safe open pry tool or an X-Acto knife um, or something just to kind of wedge in between your frame housing and your touchscreen glass digitizer and LCD. Be careful during this period because you don't want to actually break that plastic frame housing. Um, even with the heat gun or blow dryer, you don't want to melt that frame. Um, it won't melt easily, but I do recommend taking your time and being careful. Um, one thing I want to note is, as far as we know, there's no way to separate the touchscreen glass and the digitizer with the LCD on this phone. Um, so you are going to need to go ahead and buy a full assembly or you will need to buy the touchscreen glass and LCD as separated pieces, but you will need to buy both or the assembly. Um, a lot of people will buy the two separated pieces because if you ever break your glass again, um, and not the LCD, you can just replace the glass in the future rather than having to replace both the glass and the LCD. Um, as you can see here, when we try to separate it, it's separated with the glass. Um, the LCD is completely, completely destroyed, so there's really no way to separate these two parts. With the touchscreen glass digitizer and LCD assembly removed, uh, you can go ahead and uh, put the new screen on. I do recommend putting new adhesive on the back of your housing. Your housing is the part in the middle of this screen uh, once I have both the new assembly and the old assembly up. Um, please note which way you plug in the flex cable otherwise your LCD won't properly turn on and make sure it's plugged in all the way or your LCD won't cut on neither will your digitizer. Thank you guys for watching. Please visit us at InjuredGadgets.com <laughs>